Hello, in this vlog we will see a case of Takotsubo cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome. A patient was admitted due to weakness. What do you think of this EKG? Is this a STEMI? There are ST elevations in V1 to V3, look like anterior wall STEMI. It may also look like pericarditis because of PR depressions, but those were noise. T waves in V2 and V3 seem tall, but not the classic tented T waves in hyperkalemia, and the potassium was normal in this case. The troponin came back elevated, so a coronary angiogram was done. Heart cath did not reveal a significant stenosis. LV cardiogram was consistent with Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. Supportive management was done and patient was discharged after a few days. So this is a case of Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, also called broken heart syndrome or stress-induced cardiomyopathy or transient apical ballooning and stress cardiomyopathy. It is a reversible cardiomyopathy with a clinical presentation indistinguishable from myocardial infarction. It commonly occurs in postmenopausal women. Transient ST elevation can be seen on the EKG, and there is modest elevation in troponins. Ventricular dysfunction is shaped like takutsubo, or octopus trap in Japanese, and there is absence of obstructive coronary lesion. The dysfunction improved rapidly within a few weeks.